Hey guys, Aaron here with Heck Yeah Productions. Today we're on the set again of Little Hero Squad. We have one of the puppeteers here, Matt. Uh, this is the, the puppet that he plays, Wyatt. You want to tell us a little bit about Wyatt? Well, Wyatt is the oldest brother. Um, I don't know if he's the wisest of the crew, but he's definitely the, uh, he thinks he's the leader. And uh, yeah, he's, I don't know, he's just a nice guy. Just kind of a, just kind of a bumbly guy, you know? So, those are the, you gotta love those characters. Man, I love it. Mm. So, I want to talk a little bit about your experience outside of pup puppeteering and why we picked you. I know that you tracked at least 30 voices to <laughs> the, the song that we're filming today. Go big or go home. Yeah, um, you know what? I, I, my experience is one of those. I want to be, I've been blessed with, with opportunities to do a, a large gamut of things in the industry. So, I, I like the drop a quarter in me and see what happens kind of deal. So from background vocals for other artists to uh, acting, singing, arranging, writing, all that I've kind of been able to incorporate into what I do for a living. So this has been a real huge blessing and opportunity to work with you guys and be a part because I get the full gamut of that. I get, I get to do voiceovers, I get to sing, I get to arrange, you know, and, and who knows from there. So it's just been, it's been a real blessing. And the, the doing the puppet aspect of it is just an added, you know, icing on the cake, so. For sure. Now, when you say drop a quarter in me, see what happens. I'm yeah. sure a lot of our viewers have no idea what that, that means. Am I, I'm industry. aging myself or something. I don't know. You know, you drop the little quarter in the in, in the monkey, and he just like starts to put his symbols together, and or just do a little stage show. Um, you know, you want to be you want to stay versatile so that you can. You know, this industry is a can be a hard one. So you got to reinvent yourself and make sure that you are able to to fit the mold of whatever they're looking for. So that's what cool. I'm trying to do. So out outside of singing, what else do you do? Um, just as a hobby or like in the industry? Hobby, industry, I mean, anything uh, that got you to this point? Oh man, um, it's been stage, uh, being a uh, stand-in actor for different shows, The Voice, The Oscars, I was Blake Shelton stand-in for nine seasons, uh, ten seasons actually. How, how was that? That was cool, get to meet all the, all the, all the big wigs and you know, and, and interact with them and see how the show works. You learn a lot about uh, marking on the on the stage and reading off the teleprompter and the kind of energy you should give and you know when to be always I was just joking back back stage earlier with you to always be ready like you got to know what to do at any time you know and be ready to go so it taught you that fast pace here we go be ready so it was a good experience yeah and I remember that conversation <laughs> earlier man it just talking about you know you were always learning on the back set yeah yes of, of the voice and everything just Taking notes of, of everything you could do better. You have even today. You know, you can, you're always learning. You have to take in what what is in front of you. If if you're looking to expand on something, you got to be alert and just take it in. And it's fun. It's a, if you enjoy what you do in learning that process, isn't intimidating. It's like, oh man, give me more. So it's it's been cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. I, I'll tell you guys, Matt brings a massive amount of just amazingness to this team. <laughs> so yes. Yeah. What well, what do you think of the team so far? Love the team, love the energy. It's always fun to work on a, on a set where you have people that are uh, just uplifting, encouraging, they have a goal, and they're willing to work hard for it. And so when you have a team that they all have the same mindset like that, that's when you get things done efficiently with professionalism. And that, look, look at this, look at this right here. The the, the texture and the, the production of it is such high value. Let, let's see if the camera can get, get just not the value. This, not this ugly puppet. mug right here, but this beautiful face over here. Look at this demonstration. I mean, this is this is even the tongue to the touch has texture to it. So, if you're gonna do something, do it with excellence. Thus, putting 30 background vocals on a song yep. because you want it to have everything. You can always take, always retract and take things away, but give everything on the table so that people have more to work with. Is how I look at it. For sure, and I mean that's one thing that we believe in highly here is is executing everything with excellence. If we're not doing it with excellence, why are we doing it at all? Mm -hmm. You know, and I know that's part of the reason that we brought you on because everything you do, everything that we heard in all the auditions was always with excellence, mm -hmm. and, and it was the the amazing power that you brought to all of those interviews Appreciate every time. It, it was amazing to hear, and you know, sitting back here when we were editing audio just like three, four days ago, just for everyone to show up here and have enough to be able to listen to and lip sync to. I remember at the end, I was like, man, Matt is amazing. I, I've never heard someone with so many voices and, and someone that can hit those voices on the head like you would hit every single time. Thanks, man. I, I grew up 
mimicking Michael Jackson and a bunch of other a bunch of other artists and and Josh I know I gave it just gives him a lot of work but he's so he's so good at what he does he just takes it in okay cool cool he actually appreciates it and we'll just he'll just kill it from there so it's that's another thing being able to trust the people you're working with like I trust what he's given me and I that he's it's reciprocated trust so he knows I'm gonna give him my best and then he's gonna take it and do work his excellence with it so that that dynamic helps so much you know and makes it exciting to work so for sure mm -hmm. my last question mm -hmm. is what advice, if any, could you give to a kid nowadays, uh, we'll say younger, younger age, like seven to 12, who wants to grow up and be a puppeteer, be an actor, be a singer? Yeah. What, what kind of advice? Um, well, coming from Minnesota, there wasn't a lot of opportunities to find industry-related stuff to pour yourself into. So yeah, I did it from home. It was, you want to set up a, a, a stage play of some sort and, and have a sock puppet and start mimicking those voices you saw on Sesame Street or little super, you know, little hero squad. Um, use that as your motivation and just start to, to um, mimic the voices, practice that. You know, you can get singing lessons. You know, there's, there's vocal lessons out there. There's piano, piano lessons. Whatever it is that you like to do creatively, seek somebody else that does it well and learn off of them. And then slowly but surely, after you start mimicking other people, you start to learn and come into who you are as a talent yourself. So it's a growing process all the way down. I mean, my mom had told me just a couple weeks ago that I started singing uh, harmonies with her at age of two. Now, that's not every, that doesn't happen for everybody, but I just always had a passion for that stuff. So, regardless of what the passion is, start young, put put on your little show in the in the middle of the house, you know, and then you start to train. When you get older, you start learning how to record yourself, and then your brain is working. How can I improve at that point? But at first, it's just having fun. It's just learning how to how to mimic what you think is going on, on on the TV there, and you do the same thing. So it doesn't take a big studio like this with, Absolutely with amazing not. quality to, to get somewhere in life. It's a cardboard box with a coat hanger for a curtain, and you pop your head up and you're, you're going like this for whatever audience, whatever audience is out there, even if it's imaginary. Mm -hmm. I'm not crazy, I'm just saying when you're a kid, you just, yeah, yeah. You know, and, and that just made me think of, I guess, one more question. Bring it. What? <clears throat> Would you recommend a kid, like let's say the one that we had on, on set yesterday, the, the, the 13 year old that came in to, to kind of help behind the scenes with the puppet hands, mm -hmm. would you recommend a kid that wants to learn how to do this to maybe reach out to a production and see if they can volunteer or get in on it? Yes, I mean what, what I saw yesterday on the stage with that, first of all again the team is very, we love kids and we're very, we're wanting to help them learn. So there was just a, it was a gentle way on a on the big stage for them to not be intimidated and just to to practice and learn um, as they went. You know, it was kind of thrown to the wolves with guidance mm -hmm. in a way, which I think helped her a lot. She was she was loving it, dude. She was amazing. Yeah, like sit, sitting back and watching it from behind the scenes from the director's seats. It it was really amazing to see how she incorporated herself in with our puppeteers mm -hmm. and just how much she learned in. Man, what was it like? Seven hours? Yeah. Was that first and, part of the shoot? Right. And, yeah. And because she had a, she has a desire and a passion for it, she was focused and, and she picked up on it so fast. Mm -hmm. So it was awesome. Of course. It was great to see. So I mean, with that being said, if if you guys want to do something, you have that passion to succeed in something, just go out and do it. You don't need fancy equipment, full production gear. You don't need any of that to become someone. Um, and, and reach out to those people that are doing it and see if they need help. See if you can volunteer your time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that's kind of the takeaway I'd get from all that. Yes, absolutely. In short. Yeah. Start with, start with a sock puppet and Google eyes. And glue them on there. You're on your way. <laughs> For sure. So, well, we, we've got a really good interview here with Matt. And uh, it was really good talking to you. I'm yeah. sure our viewers got a lot out of it. If you guys want more behind the scenes and just a lot more on our puppeteers and our sound engineers, the, the writers, the directors, everything that we do, uh, keep watching these behind the scenes uh, videos and you'll, you'll learn a lot about us. So, Absolutely. Coleman. Thank you, brother. Cool.